Mr. Rivers, hello, welcome back to the channel, baby. I just finished the night shift and I've been watching Bingo like an owl. You may be wondering why Bionanogenomics is up in the pre-market. Why does it keep flying up? Well, oh my goodness, they bleep me. Apparently some news just hit November 3rd, 2021. Bionanogenomics has just announced major updates to its solvent access data solutions, adding significant new variant detection, analysis, and reporting capabilities for optical genome mapping on the Sapphire system. None of this is financial advice, it's for entertainment only. If you want to send me a tip or donation, you can send me in the description box below via PayPal. I want to thank you so, so much for your love and support. Thank you to everybody that joins my channel membership that sends me any donation. I've got some bangers of videos coming next. This one is just a quick update because I saw the news. I don't know if it's been released yet. So we were stuck in that $5 range for a while and I noticed something about institutions because I look at the daily institution accumulation over on Fintel. And a few days ago on that Friday, I realized that I looked at the accumulation score and we were no longer scoring in the 90s. In fact, recently, remember this updates on a daily, the frequency, the ownership accumulation score over on Fintel has identified companies with the highest levels of institutional accumulation. We are only scoring 38 now. So are the institutions done loading up? Did they load up in that $5 range for months? Because we were scoring on a daily basis over 90. We were actually within the top 500 companies out of 22,700 companies tracked. Where institutions were eating up our hot dogs like competitive eaters. But now are they done loading? Is Bionanogenomics about to fly? We have the earnings call tomorrow. I'm going to be live streaming it as well. This great news is here also saying that they've upgraded and just today they've announced the release of BioNano Soul version 3.7 and BioAccess version 1.7. These data solution upgrades are available for all Sapphire systems installed in laboratories worldwide. What these updates include are significant improvements in variant detection as well as workflow simplifications and other benefits designed to support clinical research in inherited genetic diseases and cancer. All new Sapphire system installations will include these versions. So they're going to be detecting more clinically relevant variants such as absence of heterozygosity, AOH, and allaic imbalance. This is mad right here. The first two classes of these variations that are typically considered as sequence rather than structural variants. What? What did you just say? They are typically considered as sequence. Oh my goodness. The nano nozzle isn't even out. And we are finding clinically relevant variants in a sequence. Oh, daddy. This update is basically saying that the new workflow enables all structural variants detected by Solve and analyzed with access to be named and classified using standard terminology according to the 2020 International System for Human Cytogenetic Nomenclature. This new classification is expected to simplify reporting and interpretation of research findings, making it easier to compare information across other databases, Netflix of genomics. And we had a word from our CEO, Eric Holmlin. He said these ongoing improvements in the absence of our software for detecting structural variations, as well as the tools for interpreting and reporting calls continue to impress me. We believe this update is significant because of the AOH and LAIC imbalance functionality we are introducing with our acquisition of BioDiscovery now complete. We can begin work to integrate our variant detection technology with NX Clinical's visualization, interpretation and reporting capabilities to offer a potentially outstanding window through which researchers can obtain the data to drive their science. And just maybe that's why in pre-market we're set to fly. Remember, this is not financial advice, it's for entertainment only, but check this out. $5.05, .05, Friday 29th of October. I saw the institution stop accumulating, and oh my goodness, we went up 22%. But with the pre-market now, we're flying another 3% up. And ooh, I think it's gonna be naughty. What are your predictions for the earnings call? This is not financial advice, it's for entertainment only, but I'm thinking 15 Sapphire systems installed. I think we're gonna see an increase in flow cells. They're going to talk a little bit about the acquisition and how they can generate more money and how they're going to become potentially the Netflix of genomics, as Joe Butler calls it. So we've been called the Tesla of genomics. We've been called Apple of genomics, Amazon of genomics, but now Netflix, baby. So get your popcorn. The show is starting and I'm excited to watch. Please remember, none of this is financial advice it's for entertainment only. The great video that I've got coming later. Um, I can't wait to break news to you. I'm just trying to find one of my tabs. I lost one of them. So I'm just <laughs> trying to open up the tabs and be like, where is it gone, man? I got 50 tabs up here.
Because we tabalicious, baby. Anyways, I just finished a night shift. I am shattered. I had a nap on my sofa. I ate some cookies and I had chocolate. So I want to wish you the best. Thank you guys for always supporting me. Watch out for my video later because you're going to like what I bring to the game. It's juicy. Love and appreciate you guys. If you're able to, please hit the like button. It helps you get out to a wider audience. Drop me a comment below on your thoughts and feelings. And if you're able to join channel memberships or the Patreon, please do. And if you want to drop me a donation or tip, you can use the link in my description box below. There's a PayPal link. But if you're unable to, just you hitting the like and clicking subscribe is enough for me. Any way that you support this channel, I'm super grateful. And I do this for you guys. So thank you so much for your love and support. Mr. <coughs> Invest a lot. Over and out, baby.